guys, it's BB. Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful monarch butterflies. I hope that all of you are having a lovely, lovely day. All right, so in today's video, I am going to be unboxing some giveaway winnings that I received from the wonderful Anna Olsen over at Pink Monarch Prints. I'm sure that all of you are familiar with her channel. And if uh, by any chance you are not, I will be linking her channel down below. I also wanted to show off some uh, thrifty treasures that I found and hashtag thrifted treasures is hosted by my dear crafty friend Dale over at Not Too Shabby Chic and I also wanted to just chat with y'all a little bit and update y'all because I feel like I've been away for a really really long time and it probably doesn't seem like that to you guys but to me it does because I haven't recorded a video in days. All right, so I will be chatting with you guys um, while I unbox this cutie. So Anna, thank you so, so much. I feel so excited to unbox these cuties. She recently had uploaded a video of a giveaway and she had explained that one of her mother's uh, dear crafty friends had passed away and they ended up um, getting a chance to uh, give some of her items a second life. and she decided to share some with her subbies and look how she packaged this isn't this amazing look how pretty this lace is oh my goodness thank you Anna so so much now if y'all are to journaling flip throughs tutorials and she even does um digitals so there's tons of inspo on her channel be sure and check her out if you haven't already look at this beautiful handmade card that she made it says thanks and isn't she stunning i love her pose so so pretty i'm gonna go ahead and have a read um off camera okay she says i hope you enjoy this wonderful lace wishing you all the very best anna i'm excited to incorporate these beautiful laces into future uh, crafts. Check this out. She has shared a variety of laces here. They're all stunning. They're also very pretty. Darth Vader would also like to say hello. <laughs> and he has some candy that I just ate all of it. I love his little Darth Vader. I think it's so, so cute. You can open it And look now. at this eyelet lace that she wrapped it in. So Anna, thank you so, so much. Look how much she shared with me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and have us a sip of this coffee. This comes from Colorado, which is where my husband is currently at with my oldest son, uh, Haciel. And they will be coming back today. I'm very excited to see them. I have missed them. They've been gone for about five days now. So if I have any pictures of them, I will be sure and sharing them here. In this big old All right, let's show off some thrifted treasures. The first one that we have here is this cute plush gorilla that we picked up. Isn't he His handsome? Name is King Kong. And Paul has named him King Kong. King Kong, that's good King name. Kong, he is so pretty. <gasps> Mom. So, so pretty. Where? Right there, I can see it. Oh my gosh, hang on. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so this is the bird that Paul was telling us about. He is, um, he's got blue feathers. I don't know what he is. A blue jay, I think. Look how handsome he is. He's a mama bird. No, he's not a mama bird. But look at him just chilling out, looking for bugs. He is so pretty. I've been trying to record him for the longest time for Kara, but I can never capture okay. him. And we're back. Also, if you like this cutie, I featured it in a couple of videos back. And this is from KYGMW. Just in case you missed that unboxing, I'll be linking it down below so you guys can check it out. This is a music box and I just find it to be so adorable, but I wanted to give you guys something to look at while we chatted. I'm gonna go ahead and put these over here and then I'm gonna show you guys um, the thrifted finds that I picked up. Um, so the first one was Paul's Little Gorilla. And then next up that we have here is this book, it says Practical Harmony, and I don't know if y'all could see a little bit of writing, but it says Simpson, and then Homer A. Norris, part one. So I did not see any other part twos, part threes, anything like that. So this is the first edition. And this book, I also messaged Kara about it, and I've also messaged Dale in the past because I'm awful at remembering like what is um, in the public domain and things like that. But this one is from 
copyright 1922. There we go, 1922. And so I would be able to make copies of this cutie and maybe even use them and incorporate them into collaging or master boards. I think it's so, so pretty. Um, you can see that it's slightly uh, cracked there, but for it being from 1922, I think it is in wonderful condition. And you can see a little bit of grunginess here from its aging, natural aging, and I think it's so, so cool. So I was really excited to have found this. And I love the writing. I just, I wish I could write like that, but I, I don't. So anyways, um, I was also going to tell you guys that uh, as far as like challenges and um, birthday, yeah, birthday challenges, I'm really sorry if I'm sending, if I send them really late, I have been kind of sick lately and I'm not sure what exactly is going on. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Uh, I did take some of Kara's advice. I did message her. I reached out to her and asked her like what I should do because um, I feel like <laughs> we have a lot of similarities. And so since December, my tonsils have been swollen and they consistently keep getting swollen. And in December, that was like the first time that I experienced that. And they had been removed at three. So I guess they regenerated. I'm not sure. But as soon as I find out, I will let you guys know. And like I said, I will try to participate in um, as many challenges as I can. So please don't feel like I have abandoned y'all. I'm genuinely trying. It's just it comes so abruptly you know it just happens abruptly so i picked up these cute little lace doilies i think they're doilies i don't exactly know what to call them but this was for 50 cents and i picked up two of them look how pretty this is and move my coffee to the side and i love that pretty blue do y'all see that i love it it's so gorgeous so i picked up two of those Let's go ahead and move on to the next items that I picked up. I saw some of this black lace and it'll be twinning with this one that y'all see here. So I'll be able to incorporate that into um, maybe a Halloween fall journal, which will approach us very quickly. I'm sure time is flying by, but look how pretty it is. It's very thick and you can even do um, those what are they called those flowers like corn has featured in her past videos you know and then you put a little button how cute would that be to embellish a spooky journal mayhaps gorgeous and i don't know how much i paid for this some stuff was priced some stuff wasn't so unfortunately i don't have prices for these two let's go ahead and move on to the next item so I picked up a couple of these. Let me go ahead and get the other ones. I found quite a bit of these. These were 25 cents each. I hope it's focused because my camera is a little bit higher now that I've got a light. All thanks to Jovi. Thank you so much, Jovi. I've been loving my light, by the way. Uh, she recommended it to me and I've been using it and I, I love it. Thank you so, so much. So I picked up a couple of those. She said that these were a quarter each, a quarter for as much as that's in there. Holy macaroni, as Paul would say, my youngest baby. Um, so I was really excited about them. I grabbed them all. They were all in like a little basket. I did not bring the basket, but I still thought this was really cool. You get a lot of colors. We have a white here. We have a beautiful blush pink. We have a forest green, isn't it gorgeous? And then your standard uh, silver ones, and then some beautiful blue ones. I love vintage uh, little brads like this. They're not brads, what are these? Uh, grommets, no, eyelets, whatever you wanna call them. Y'all know the term. The next item we have here is some vintage fabrics. This was for $2. So let's go ahead and have us a look. How rude of me, I didn't even ask y'all. What have y'all been up to? What have y'all been crafting? I would love to know in the comments down below. Okay, let's do one by so one. So the first one we have here is this beautiful blue. 
Oh, so this originally would have been $1.50. So I saved a couple of bucks. So let's have us a look. It is fairly long, quite a good uh, amount of fabric here. These would be great for little golden books. I have wanted to, be, to make um, journals and I have not, but eventually. Okay, and so here we have this pattern one with florals as well. This is a darker blue uh, vintage pattern. I love it. It's so pretty. I especially love the reds and, and the yellows and the blues. Uh, anything floral I adore. So this is absolutely up my alley. And then here we have another dark blue pattern with uh, little flowers as well. I think they almost look like little suns, don't they? And this comes from Cranston Printworks. And then next up, we have this one, which is one of the ones that caught my attention. I think it's so gorgeous. They look like miniature stamps, don't they? So cute. Not very much of this one, but that's okay. I still think it is gorgeous. I love it. And it feels, it feels kind of uh, thick. It feels like thicker fabric. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Check out this red, gorgeous fabric. I think this might have been from the same person because it also has the same brand as that blue one and it says Cranston Printworks. Very pretty. I love it. I can't wait to use it. And then we have this last one, this is the last item that I picked up that was in that $2 sack. I spent a total of $7 on these items, so I thought it was a great buy. And look how pretty this is. I'm excited to incorporate these into future projects. I want to thank you guys so, so much for having come along. Once again, uh, hashtag Drifters Treasures is toasted by my beautiful friend Dale over at Not Too Shabby Chic. So be sure and hop in on the fun collaboration and show us your thrifted finds. We would love to see them. I also want to thank Anna once again, uh, Pink Monarch Prince. I will be linking her channel down below for the gorgeous, gorgeous laces. I, I'm so very grateful and I can't wait to see the unboxing of the other winners as well. So that wraps it up for me, you guys. I hope y'all have a lovely rest of y'all's day. Y'all please take care, sending y'all hugs and kisses. That wraps it up. Y'all take care, guys. Bye.